Hi guys, this is Jama Malmi from jamamalmi.com and I have another Artfully Scent video for you. Um, I have a coworker who loves Scotty Dogs. She has two of them and I was telling her about this cartridge and that there's Scotty Dogs on it and she was really excited so I wanted to make the cards to show her what they look like and there are actually three different cards that feature Scotty Dogs so she's going to be really excited because I um, actually just told her that there's one. So the first one I'm going to make is this cute little phone booth card right here. It's a scene card and you use these two um, cuts right here. Um, they're the shift and the regular button on one key. So, And you can tell they go together because they're both shades of teal. They're both different shades of the same color and so that's how you know that the um, shapes go together just like up here. All four of these go together to make a card over here um, because they're all the same color just different shades. So this is the scene key and it tells you to cut the um, cut at seven inches and you set it at seven inches for both of them even though it doesn't cut seven inches high necessarily for both but it's linked together so that when you set it at one setting it cuts relative. So I um, I cut out the pieces already, it's just these two. And then I also laid out the other pieces that I'm going to use and I'm going to show you how quick it is to put this card together. So once you cut everything, which um, honestly the thing that takes the longest is just um, deciding what colors to cut all of your paper at and what paper to use. So once you do that, you cut it, it's really fast. There's only two cuts for, for this. These were just um, scraps from my stash that I had. So first thing, I'm gonna take this and it's got little score lines here so you know where to um, cut it. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use my paper trimmer as a score um, as a scoring device to score this. So I want to make sure I have a nice score before I even start. So I don't want to mess the fold up. So then I'm going to carefully start bending it. Make sure it's even along the bottom, and it is, it's perfect. And then I'm going to use my bone folder, which I also use to score, and just give it a nice crisp edge. Alright, so then this is just going to slip right in right there, so cute. But I don't want this to be backed in red, I want it to have another pop of color. So what I've done is grab some glitter paper, or just a scrap of glitter paper that I had, and I'm going to back it right there. Um, I'm going to use my glue dots for that um, instead of just regular adhesive because the glitter paper is a little bit harder to adhere down. And this just helps give it a little bit extra. Alright, so got my glue dots down. And then I'm also going to use my ATG adhesive. Alright. And then I just want to make sure I've got this covering. See which way did I have it? I'm gonna make sure I'm covering everything. So there we go. Now I've got a little bit of glue dot sticking out. That doesn't matter because we're gonna be gluing this whole thing down anyway. All right, so cute. Okay, so then I've got this other black piece, and you can see there's kind of a chevron pattern to it. And that is part of our paper fundamentals. Um, it, this is the basics collection. It comes with um, blacks, grays, and browns. And the other side 
is like this. So you can use either side you want. It's cardstock weight, um, and it, we have several different collections of that. And so I thought that the the chevron pattern would be kind of fun to back the Scotty dog. So with this paper, I don't need to use glue dots. Oops, I can fix that. I don't need to use glue dots um, because this paper will stick to just the regular adhesive. Alright, so be careful that you don't do what I just did and tear. Okay, I just, I'm gonna hope that that gets kind of covered up. Alright. So now you've got the backing on both of the cutouts. And then I'm going to put glue on back of the whole thing and we're just going to adhere this whole panel down to the base of the card. I want to make it I want to make sure it's all centered. And so that it looks like the word bubble's coming right out of the booth. And I totally forgot that when I cut this, the paper kind of slipped, and so this is all crooked. So what I'm going to do is just stick that in my paper trimmer and straighten it up. There we go. So that is it. If you wanted to stop right there, you could, and that was literally what, like a five minute card?